Brethren in Christ, Laudator Jesus Christus in Secula. Today is the feast of, actually it's October 19 when this is being recorded. But to raise money and raise awareness for the fellowship to gather more participants, we're going to try this out, which is we'll do live chats on Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. and alternating with Tuesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Every other week, we'll go back and forth, and then we'll release the first few minutes of this publicly. So if you want the full thing, you want to chat, you want to be part of the Fellowship of St. Anthony, we are offering up penance for the clergy and seminarians. And there's also an optional Bible reading plan that we will undertake in Advent. We'll discuss some of that today. And we'll be offering up this reading of the Imitation of Christ every week. Uh, so we'll, we'll read the first part of that right now. This is Book 1, Chapter 11. Acquiring Peace and Zeal for Our Spiritual Progress We might have much peace if we would not busy ourselves with the sayings and doings of others and with things which belong not to us. How can he remain long in peace who entangles himself with other people's cares, who seeks occasions abroad and who is little or seldom inwardly recollected? Blessed are the single-hearted, for they shall enjoy much peace. What was the reason why some of the saints were so perfect and contemplative? Because they made it their study wholly to mortify in themselves all earthly desires. And thus they were enabled with every fiber of the heart to cleave to God and freely to attend to themselves. We are too much taken up with our own passions and too solicitous with transitory things. And seldom do we perfectly overcome so much as one vice, nor are we earnestly bent upon our daily progress, and therefore we remain cold and tepid. <clears throat> 